Celebrity actor Hugh Grant visited the marginal Isha and Walton seat to rally support for Liberal Democrat candidate Monica Harding. I'm just going around any constituency where the candidate has a great chance to defeat a Borisite uh, Tory and there's no better constituency, there's no candidate with a better chance to do that than, than Monica here in Walton. Because what we are facing at the end of this week is the prospect of a Boris Johnson majority government. And with that, a mandate for a very, very hard Brexit. And what we have here in Isha and Walton is a very hard line Brexiteer MP. It is between me and Dominic Raab. The polls are showing that there is the slimmest uh, margin between both of us. Hugh's mission? To recruit swing voters. What obviously matters here, like in so many other constituencies around the country, is not getting uh, you lot to do what you're uh, supporting anyway and campaigning for, but to get uh, swing voters. In, in this case, I'm, I'm guessing in, in this constituency, remain a Tories. The fact that I've been in some films does help me to get on the media in a way that other people can't. You know, here we are not in a normal general election. Here we are uh, at the edge of a proper abyss in British history. People quite understandably, eh? I probably share their opinion to a certain extent, think, well, why the hell has he got to do with anything? The party's been captured by an extreme right-wing coup, really, and is not only going to lead this country to a disastrous no-deal Brexit, but uh, there's going to be a bonfire of all kinds of um, em employment law, and, and indeed, Terrifying. What is it, the page? Is it page 24 or 48 of the manifesto? Yeah, I only read it the other day. I mean, it makes your hair stand on end. The pair then took to the streets to speak to the residents who remained on the fence. You are you! <laughs> well, I've lived in England. I've paid my taxes um, rigorously like a good boy all those years. So although I don't believe that I deserve more of a voice than anyone else, I don't believe I have to shut up either.